Nearly one in 10 children under the age of six in Greater Cleveland suffer from lead poisoning, making it the highest lead poisoning rate in the United States. Because of the abundance of lead-based paint on houses built prior to 1978, and the increase in the number of vacant lots where houses once stood, cities like Cleveland are facing the challenge of finding ways to make these soils safe to produce food and for children to play. Traditional methods of excavating and removal are very expensive, but an OERDC researcher has discovered a process where soil can be treated on site at a fraction of the cost. OERDC's Nick Basta's method for treating lead in soils using compost and similar materials costs at a minimum 75% less than the next most affordable remedy. Lead has caused a variety of, of development problems with children if the blood lead levels get high enough. Lead gets deposited in the brain and the nervous system, and so you can have developmental problems, uh, lower IQs, irritability, um, a lot of childhood problems that are associated with learning. Whenever we go into an area like this, we have a nice area like this, there's a history behind it that there, we might have lead out here. We also can treat those soils. So actually we have some, we have a research program, and other people do too, around the world, uh, where you can actually add materials like phosphate materials, like organic materials like bone meal, fish bone, other things to the soil, and it will decontaminate that lead. Traditional methods are dig and haul and replace the soil. There's nothing more expensive that you can do is dig and haul soil and replace it. It costs millions of dollars. Now the one I just described, we could buy bone meal, it would probably cost a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars to fix the soil. So we're probably looking at a substantial saving, literally at least a hundredfold or more.